Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is OneScale and welcome to today's video. Today we will have Q&A session as promised one week ago. And before we jump straight into the action, I want to say thank you to all of my dear Patreons who support me on Patreon. So thank you Brad, thank you Galliman, thank you Hans, thank you Krista, Michelle, Permanent, Pelek, Philip, Richard, Robert, Thomas and Tim. If you would like to join me on Patreon, please visit me on patreon.com slash oneskill and find it out all about it, okay? And what's cool about Patreon is when you join me on Patreon, you can start supporting me from $1 to $50, you know, depends, depends on you and you get awesome rewards, you know, you get access to all of those PPT files that I create during my tutorials. I can even, you know, support you through my email or you can even decide what my next tutorial will be about or even if you want me to become your personal PowerPoint mentor, I can do that as well or even create some custom slides for you every month so I can do that as well. So yeah, please visit Patreon and man, let's continue with the video. So ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the community tab and let's see what kind of amazing questions you have prepared for me. First of all, I want to thank you, all of you, my dear fans. I want to thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Actually, currently it's already 21,000 subscribers. So thank you very much, guys. When I see that, you know, I can help you, that I, when I see that I'm useful to somebody, you know, I, I stay motivated. So thank you very much. Now let's jump into the comments or actual questions. Okay. So let's go, let's start with the oldest question that I received. So James Jonathan asks me, what is, what is my job? <laughs> so thank you, James, for your question. And well, my dream job, of course, would be to become a full-time YouTuber, you know, just creating PowerPoint tutorials, helping people. But of course, that is not enough, you know, to support me. So currently my main job is actually to help restaurants and hotels in Lithuania to pick the best tea for, for them, you know. So I just basically visit hotels and restaurants and I just, you know, help them to decide what kind of tea they would like to have for breakfast or maybe, you know, in the restaurant. So basically, I'm just doing, you know, tea business. So that's, that's tea business. And actually, making PowerPoint presentations really helps me, you know, in my, in my daily job because I have to visit my clients, I have to show them presentations, I have them, you know, to present teas and stuff and so yeah PowerPoint you know really helps me to present uh, you know all those different types of teas different equipment and so on so yeah I'm just basically a tea ninja and in my free time I'm a PowerPoint ninja so you know double ninja okay so thank you James let's continue with your second question so James has another question so how do you learn to do all of PowerPoint stuff? Do you watch tutorial or figure it out on your own? So that's a, that's a really good question. So I would say that in the beginning, I actually, uh, I don't know, I started maybe to be interested in PowerPoint maybe in 2010 or something. Actually in my school, I was doing, I was playing with the Macromedia, Macromedia Flash, if you remember this program. So I was doing some simple animations uh, already in my school days. But with PowerPoint, I guess I started seriously in 2010. And yeah, I just had to do a lot of presentations in my, in my work, you know, prepare some presentations for my clients. And, and I, I guess I figure out quite a lot of stuff, you know, just by, you know, by just trying different things out. And yeah, do you watch tutorials? And yes, now these days, of course, uh, you know, there are a lot of great, awesome PowerPoint channels. So let me show you a couple of those channels. So yeah, so we have Creative Venus, uh, we have PowerPoint School, SlideCow, and Jello. We have N NG Pach, <laughs> sorry man. We have Prevent, we have Abhinav, the teacher PowerPoint spy Spice. Well, actually, PowerPoint Spice, I would say, was the first channel that I actually saw uh, saw on YouTube. And 
I guess she was like the biggest inspiration for me to start this uh, YouTube channel and to share to share my knowledge, my experience, because you know I was uh, you know I was watching YouTube daily, like I guess many people, and I actually learn a lot of stuff from YouTube, like creating websites or you know working with some graphical programs like GIMP, if you know GIMP. So, you know, I just thought to myself what kind of knowledge I could share with the world and, you know, I knew PowerPoint a little bit, so I thought, you know, why not to share something with PowerPoint related and so this is how I started my channel. And of course we have a number, you know, awesome, other awesome channels like PowerPoint Pro, The Point, as you can see The Point is a pretty small channel at the moment, but this guy or girl creates really awesome slides, so check, check him out. PowerPoint PD presentation process and Horst Hindermit. So he has 16 subscribers only, but man, he does awesome, awesome stuff. Let me show you one of his videos. Actually, actually Horst recently joined me on Patreon. So thank you very much Horst um, for, for supporting me. So let me just quickly show you one of his videos. So this is what he has done. So this is a parallax powerpoint effect so as i can see this is uh, some kind of circular parallax effect in action so it looks really awesome so yeah good luck to you uh, horst and i'm looking forward to your future videos and yeah let's uh, let's continue with the questions um, so thank you james for your two wonderful questions now let's continue with the Sachin Negi. So from where your inspiration come from? <laughs> from where your inspiration come for animation? <laughs> Sounds nice. Inspiration, animation. I'm asking these questions because uh, we also know these things, but the way you use these things are such an unimaginable for us. So yes, you, you know, I think that every one of us is, you know, how to say, restricted or, 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 you know, the only limits that we have is our imagination. So usually what I do is when I see something awesome, maybe some kind of video or maybe something created in different programs. For example, let me show you this video. I think uh, uh, this video was uh, created in, I don't know. But some well it was not powerpoint but it, it was created in some in some kind of other program and you know one day when i saw this video it basically takes two images and creates this uh, parallax effect so i instantly uh, started to think you know man could i do it in powerpoint is it possible to do it in powerpoint and of course uh, you know everything is possible when you put your mind into it <laughs> So basically this is how all of my crazy ideas or maybe you know some some new ideas come to my mind and this is how I try to do then those ideas on PowerPoint. So basically because of this video, because of this you know challenge that I set to myself, I was able to create one of my most uh, popular videos. Uh, you know, I guess uh, if you're watching this video so you have probably seen my uh, parallax videos. Let me just quickly show it to you. So yeah, this this one parallax video. Of course, this uh, this tutorial was as well inspired by parallax effect used in websites, because many websites nowadays use this par parallax of effect. But as well, you know, always just looking for some kind of new stuff like other videos made in other software, and you know, just looking for some challenges that that really helps me to to you know. To start thinking what what kind of new awesome stuff could be done in PowerPoint so I guess this is how I expand my creativity and as well if you want to get some new ideas you know what what kind of amazing stuff you could create in PowerPoint so you could go to Envato market uh, graphics presentations and you just can check out the most uh, popular PowerPoint templates at the moment you just can you know open the most uh, popular templates or trending templates for example let's let's check out some trending templates trending item items in the last year 
So yeah, just open up those presentations and just, you know, just get some feeling what is going on, what kind of des design trends are going on. And maybe you will find something that you like. I think, uh, you know, through this kind of method, I, I saw that brush photos are, are trending, that brush photos, you know, are, are very often that you can you can find in these new kind of templates so then I thought you know how can I do those uh, brush photos how can I explain to people how to do those brush photos so th this this way this is one of the ways you know to get new ideas and since we're talking about templates uh, my friend Sli uh, Slide Cow yo yo has asked me to introduce his new uh, PowerPoint uh, template, which is called uh, Strive. So what's cool about this template is that from each uh, purchase, 10% goes uh, to the one laptop per child organization. So this is, uh, so 10% goes to charity. And the template itself looks uh, really delicious. All of the icons are custom made so please check out uh, handmade custom made so please check out this template i will leave a link in the video description and yeah looks pretty delicious everything is editable so looks 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 beautiful awesome job yo yo <laughs> keep on rocking okay so let's continue with the questions a big thanks to you for for salute for your awesome video so so thank you, it's Sash Life. Next, uh, your animations made my presentation get good marks, I guess. Thanks, bro. So yeah, I'm happy for you, Edge Catalyst. I'm happy for you. Uh, next, uh, we have a question from Dolan. Did you try combine basic zoom plus grow with 100% bounce and, and zoom 99? I really want to find out more animation combined like this. Uh, I was actually trying to figure out what is basic zoom plus grow. Uh, if you would have some kind of examples and if you could just, um, you know, give me some links, I will definitely check it out and I will show you how to do it. Next, uh, Sarah asks, is there a specific day in the week where you post videos or do you post in random days based on your time? Uh, so basically I post uh, videos uh, when I have free time and that's usually is during weekends. So every weekend on Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, so basically, yeah, every week on Sunday or Saturday. Today is Sunday. So yeah, today I'm doing it on Sunday. And yeah, thank you for, for your a nice comment uh, yeah <laughs> thank you very much I appreciate it and I guess uh, yeah thank you one more thank you from main LHME so yeah thank you <laughs> my friend so guys yeah I think I have covered all of the questions for now uh, if you would have uh, more questions please just continue asking uh, your questions and of course uh, I would like to, you know, do this Q&A session sometime in the future. I think it's fun. <laughs> if you think it's fun, let me know in the comments uh, section down below. And yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you are, uh, you know, happy with the answers. And I wish you a wonderful week and see you in my next video.